Hey guys, good morning. It's just after nine. We all slept in today and everyone's feeling a little like Maddie has she's feeling a little under the weather. Not bad, bad, but she's starting to get congested. And last night I started to sneeze and get congested too. So even though our best efforts were made to try and not get anyone sick on Halloween, I'm afraid it has hit. Hopefully it doesn't spread. And hopefully just because Maddie, no, today's not Halloween. <laughs> hopefully because Maddie has like bad upper respiratory issues anyway it just affected her more and it's not anything contagious so we'll see anyway yesterday sorry about yesterday's vlog i was bad vlogger my i told you guys my camera batteries have been going in and out really quickly and i didn't have an extra one and the plans kind of changed i went to go pick up everyone from school i think the last thing i vlogged was at the post office or no mad at the uh, pd docs getting maddie speech therapy stuff and then after that i went to go pick up the girls from school and my intention was just to come home and do dinner and film the rest of our night like i usually do but i called my mom because she got back yesterday from a work a business trip and she autumn lets us see have the ball i mean lets us see have the thing you take the ball get it thank you and so but I talk, ended up talking to her and she was like, what are you doing? Just come over and, so I can see the girls and hang. we can hang out for a little while. I was like, okay. So we ended up doing that. We had dinner over there and my camera le legitimately like died. I could not even turn it on for a second. The battery was completely dead and we stayed over there until almost nine. And then we came home and by the time I got home, I was so exhausted. My hips hurt from walking around the store and shopping yesterday and stuff that I was just exhausted. I edited the vlog and I went to bed. So... I just didn't even recharge the battery or anything until this morning and it is what it is I'm sorry I know you guys hate when I just leave you hanging like that but really like nothing happened my mom and I the girls played with Nin and with Janet and my mom and I sat there and chit chatted and talked for the whole four hours we were there we had a really good beef or turkey meatball stroganoff with green beans it was super good Nin made and that was it so today we have a Girl Scout event. We are roasting s'mores and hot dogs at a pumpkin patch. I, I mean, it's a pumpkin patch, but I actually think it's more of a, a corn maze because I think they have pumpkins there, but they also have a corn maze and lots of other fun things to do. So Emmy was opening her card from Natalie. She was trying to save the stickers. She was so sad. She's like, the cat's faces are coming off. So. Anyway, we're going to do that, and that'll probably take up the majority of our day this morning. We're just going to kind of relax, start some laundry, and clean up just a little bit, like tidy things up before we leave, because we don't have to be there until 1.30, and it'll probably take up the majority of the rest of our day. So, that'll be fun. I've been wanting to go to a pumpkin patch or some sort of something all season long, and we haven't, and so I'm excited that we're doing it with Girl Scouts today. I'm doing my makeup just because it makes me feel good about myself. I'm using Hervana blush. I don't even know if they make this anymore. It's old. And I busted out my Morphe Jeffree Star palette because I mentioned the other day I hadn't used it before and I always gravitate towards the same kind of palettes. So I did something a little bit more fall, still very neutral, but a little bit more fall. And a little bit darker than I normally go. So. I'm excited to actually have decent pictures of straightening my hair and it's kind of like half I mean it's straightened but I blow dried it first so it's a little more like voluminous than it normally would be because normally I let my natural hair dry and then I straighten it and this time I blew it kind of frizzily straight with my Revlon 3-in-1 styler or whatever it's called and then I flat ironed it just to take the kinks and stuff out so, it's so long, I really need a haircut. Like the edges of it are, my whole head is super full and the edges of it are very stringy. So, I really need a haircut. I probably should do that before the baby comes. But then I'm going to chop it all off for the summer, like spring, summer time. So then I think, well maybe I'll just let it keep growing. That way I can donate it, but it's very long. Like I almost sit on it when, I'm, when it's straight. So, anyway, we're about to leave to the pumpkin patch. 
<laughs> you already look tired, Mama. You ready to go to Pumpkin Patch? Yeah. Okay. Running a little bit late. This is what my makeup turned into. Hopefully you guys can see it okay. I actually really like it on my lips. I brought it because I'm sure I was going to get questions. It's my F Sephora Cream Lip Stain in number 38. Love these. They're so great. Perfect weather today. It's like high 60s, maybe 70. It's like 68 to 70 degrees. So beautiful outside. Perfect day. I'm so glad this worked out this way because we were going to go a few weekends ago and we didn't. Daddy's going to get you. <laughs> we found another baby. Hi. You okay? Kinley. Hi, Mama. Hi, baby. It's Bianca's little girl. She's so cute. Are you having fun? What happened? Oh, the firecrackers? Yeah. You scared? It's, fine. it's okay. It's fine. Is it good? So they were not Yeah, nice and dark, Maddie. We were Adam. Yeah, oh yeah, I, I think the girls marked it. Oh, okay, so this one's nobody's? One's yeah, no, that one's free. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, so oh, that's how I like them. Yay! Want to share one with me, baby? Yeah. Or you don't like it this burnt? <laughs> what? It's so good. Adam? Adam? <laughs> Woo! You see the chickens? What sound does a chicken make? Mommy, I think that one's Queenie. Queenie? I think so. It's got tiny ears. You want to feed a goat? Yeah. No, it's not scary. I don't know, y'all answer the questions. This way. Here's a dead end. What does that say? What do the questions say? Six through ten, Maddie. I can't even read nothing. You can't read what nothing. Are four <laughs> armed services of the U United States military. Four branches? Um, Army, Navy, A. Army, Navy, Air Force, Coast Guard, turn right. B. Army, Air Force, Navy, ROTC, turn left. A, Army, Air Force, Navy, Marine, Corps, turn right. Okay, so we have to find number six first. We gotta get there. Okay, so it's not I know, I see it. Cool. We could just cut through okay. that corn and walk right out. <laughs> Except the first rule was to not cut through the corn. I don't think coming through a corn maze pregnant was the greatest idea. <laughs> I, the whole time I'm like, okay, please let us find the exit. Or else I'm about to sit down with the corn. Take a little break. The end. It's in sight. Yay. They weren't kidding when they said that took 20 minutes. It legitimately took 20 minutes. We made it! Where are you going? Um, in the car. Me and the car. You're in the car. Cow. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ugh, ugh, ugh. It's very, very bumpy. Hey. Very bad, huh? Uh, uh, ah, big bomb! Oh, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming! Go mama, go mama, go, 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 go! Oh! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> go, 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 go! <laughs> go. Hold on tight, Adam. <laughs> Hold on, Mama. Go, 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 go. Hey, y'all get in so I can take a picture. It's powdered sugar. Funnel cake. Some corn. You ready to go eat something? No, I need to grab one. Is it good? Nobody's feeding you or what? You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, Mom and Dad. You're welcome. <laughs> We had to get a turkey leg because the kids ate all our food. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> they tore that funnel cake apart like savages. And now my honey bunny is doing a good job on the turkey leg. What'd you get, Mama? A big old bag of popcorn, huh? Yeah. That's humongous. humongous. That is a moon, you're right. <laughs> you say bye to the cow? Let's go. We are home. We've been home for a few hours. I just took off all my makeup and um, I think I got pretty much all of it off. Hopefully tomorrow we'll see probably mascara down at the bottom of my eye, story of my life, whatever. So, oh my gosh, that was a very long day. The only reason we left was because it started to get crowded. I don't know why, I guess because it's Saturday night, lots of people were showing up at that place and it was starting to get cold, like the temperature dropped real quick. During the day in the shade, it was nice and breezy, it felt really good, but if you were in the sun, it was a little hot. So, it just, once the sun started to set, it felt like it was in the high 40s at that point. I don't know what it was. It was probably like mid 50s, but it felt like 40s. My feet were <laughs> super swollen. They still are. My legs are swollen. When I came home, I had to pry my rings off my finger because that's how swollen I was in general. But everyone had a really good time. Autumn started to melt down like halfway through the day. So... We just decided it was time to go, come home. Everyone went, well, everyone went to bed right away with zero problems. We watched the rest of the 90 Day Fiance before the 90 Days Tell All. Oh my gosh, that show is insane. We finished that and now it is 10.39 and I am headed to bed. Tonight or technically Sunday morning is fall back, so by the time you guys are watching this, we will have gained an hour into our day. So I'm hoping we can get some extra rest and stuff because at 2 a.m. it'll turn the clocks back to 1 a.m. The problem with that though is the girls usually, I'm sure most kids, most people have a hard time adjusting that time frame. 
because tomorrow then normally on the weekends wake up at 7 30 or so like between 7 and 7 30 that means they'll be up between 6 and 6 30 <laughs> but that means we can go down for quiet time and nap time a little earlier however tomorrow my mom and my stepdad are taking all of them out for like a combo birthday lunch because uh, my stepdad was out of town for their birthday parties and so he was taking them on his like own him and my mom are taking them on their own like special day so I literally will be kid free and the rest works tomorrow and I plan on doing nothing <laughs> it's gonna feel so good I took my nails off which uh, proper way to take them off I usually use pure acetone and I never have a problem but I got anxious with them because I trimmed them because they were so long and so I, I cut off what I felt like was half the nail polish that I had on my nails because they were so grown out after two and a half weeks and so today it just when I was waiting for the girls to get off the little train tractor ride I picked it off which is not a great way to do it because you can jack up your nails like that peeling off layers of it and stuff so I don't suggest peeling them off but I did <laughs> and I already picked out some new colors and I'm gonna put them on tomorrow so I think that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow is just my nails relax before another crazy week I start another class on Monday and it's official Monday well Monday's Emmy's birthday too so we have stuff to do that day but it'll be officially one month on Monday that we will be going in to meet this baby girl number four so I am going to rest and relax tomorrow while I can. Um, I'm going to rest and relax tonight while I can. Try and call it an early night and get some sleep to prep for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and we will see you tomorrow.